this is the booklet that I've got for you. First of all, I'm, I'm sorry about yesterday, about the flash thing. I didn't realise that flash had been uh, disabled and stopped use, which is a bit of a shame because most of the stuff over the past goodness knows how many years for music literacy has been actually done on flash. But this is the piece of work I have for you today, which uh, relates to the videos that you watched yesterday. Now, some of it I know is quite easy, so it's really up to yourself, but for example, the best way to do this is just send me an email with the answers. Uh, at the moment, I've got a Word document, but obviously you don't need to use a Word document. You can just, just send me an, an email to my Glow email address. I'll let me know if you haven't got that, but you should be able to get that on the Teams account. So for example, all you would need to do is just go question one, just, just type in one, like that. Okay, so the answer for the first one, this note is called an E, so you obviously can't write in there. I'll look to see if there's ways in which we can get you to do that, but at the moment I can't think of any other way of doing this. So for example, just put your answers in E, the next one's a G, the next one's a B, and the next one's an F. So that's the answer for that one. Then this one here, this one here, the answer's D, etc. And you can do that question. It then says tick the correct answer. Uh, the type of note used above is A. Ah, well, obviously you can't tick anything, but the answer for that is semi brief same brief. So once you finish off writing in your letters of the alphabet, you would just write the answer. Like so. Right? And that's your finished question one. Then we've got a question two. Just go two. Look at the following music. Place the letter name of each note in the line below. So again, you would just write in the letter of the alphabet and answer that one by just saying the word. Now, when you get to this one here for question three, obviously there's no way at the moment what, as I say, I will try and look for some way in which you can write the following crotchets in the blank stave below. There's no really any way that you can actually do that. So all you can just do is practice what you would do. I mean, I'll just show you what to do with the mouse. It's difficult to use the mouse. You can see what I'm trying to do here. So the, 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 the first one's an A. So what you should know is uh, an A is a space note. Well, it can be a space note. So that's F, A, C, E, face You'll have done that yesterday with the videos. So the answer for this one is the second space. So it'd be a crotchet. So you can see what I'm doing, if you like. I'm kind of picturing myself answering the question. And that's what you do. Not ideal. And then what I can then possibly do is try and post the answers and do a screenshot of the answers for you. So you can just check to see that's what you know. And the same with this one. There's no way of doing this one. Okay. You can do this one though. Name the following quavers in the musical pattern below. So you can name these notes. Once again, you would just go to five, you just type in five. So the question five, yeah? So the answer for this first one here is C. That's a G, that's an F. So you can email me the answers there. So if you don't, if, if you leave something blank, for example, that one there, number four blank, I'll realize that that one can't be done by just typing in the answers. You can do that. Okay, so edits, as you can see what I'm trying to say now again, some of them you can answer, but for example this one, complete the following two bar phrase in each pattern to create repetition. Well, once again, there's no way you can do that, but you can just imagine yourself doing it. Or, what I was, uh, what Sam was saying to me yesterday was his, his dad's got a printer. So Sam, you could maybe print that out, do it, I don't know, send me a, a screenshot of it, send me a picture of it, find a way of sending in your answer, yeah? And if you can't do that, if you can't get access to a printer, please don't worry about that. Just do what you can. So as you can see here, it's a huge booklet, lots of different things to do, etc. So if you just continue with that today, uh, something else I'm going to try and do that worked quite well yesterday was create a voice call for the class. So just keep an eye on that. I did that for my higher class yesterday and I spoke to people to see how they were getting on. So you can maybe do that. And in the meantime, that type of thing will keep you busy for today and give you lots to do. And it is the best thing to do. The other third year classes are doing some listening work. But as I said on my message yesterday, you're actually quite far ahead with the listening work. So I don't want to give you some stuff that, 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 that you don't really need to do at this stage of your course. You're, you're quite far ahead. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them I told you you were further ahead than them. I don't tell them that. But you can see what I'm saying. Uh, and it gives you a chance to focus into in something else. And this is actually excellent. This is a great booklet that I'll have ready for you. Okay. Any issues? Uh, just like yesterday, I'll keep in touch like yesterday, I'll message to see who's in the class, who's joined the class, etc. And I will uh, keep in touch and I look forward to getting your answers emailed back to me. Thank you very much.